Baran is a district in the Indian state of Rajasthan. In the Mangrol taluk of this district, there is a place that is designated as a national geological monument, the Ramgarh crater, one of the three or four places in India where a meteor has struck, leaving behind an impact crater. This crater that you see was created in the Jurassic period, some 165 million years ago. Apart from the impact crater, there are two other sites of interest here. One is the 10th century Shiva temple known as the Ban Devra temple and the other is the Ramgad Mahta temple located on top of the crater rim. Before we go any further, if you love watching videos about amazing places of historical and geographical interest, then do consider subscribing to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button located on the bottom right corner of this video. Ramgad crater is located around 250 kilometers from Jaipur, the capital city of Rajasthan, and 115 kilometers from Kota. As you approach the village of Ramgad, many kilometers ahead, you will start seeing the rim of the crater. The approach to the crater site is from a road on the side where the lake is located. Here are a few facts related to the Ramgad crater. The Ramgad crater was first documented in 1869 by Frederick Richard Mallet, an Irish geologist who worked in the Geological Survey of India for 30 years. Geological mapping of the area was first done by Kishan Singh during 1882-83. It was only in 1960 it was recognized as an impact crater by the Geological Society of London. The meteor impact is estimated to have occurred in the middle Jurassic age approximately 650 million years ago. The impact was at an oblique angle of 30 to 45 degrees. The raised rim that we see around the impact site, also known as a collar, is around 200 meters in height. The diameter of the crater is around 2.2 to 2.7 kilometers if measured from the crest of the rim and 3.5 to 4 kilometers if measured from the border of the outer slope. According to geologist Thomas Kinkman, who studied the crater, the rim that we see of 4 km diameter is not the actual margin of the crater. His group has proposed that the rim is actually much wider, around 10 km. In the last two decades, many studies have been done on this crater and soon it may be listed in the Earth Impact Database. As of 2022, around 190 places have been listed in the Earth Impact Database. From India, two other places, Lonar in Maharashtra and Dala crater in Madhya Pradesh have been listed. If Ramgad crater is listed, it will become the third confirmed impact crater from India. Almost in the middle of the crater, there are a few temples known as the Ban Devra group of temples. The main Shiva temple is also known as Ban Devra as it is in a broken condition. The temple is built in the Nagara or North Indian style, similar to the temples in Kajuraho. According to an inscription found here, it was built in the 10th century AD by Raja Malaya Verma of Nag dynasty to celebrate the victory over his enemies and as a tribute to Lord Shiva. It was renovated in 1162 AD by Raja Trishna Verma of the Maid dynasty. The temple plan includes an audience hall or mandapa, a vestibule, sanctum and a tall spire over the sanctum. The audience hall has eight huge pillars with carvings of various gods and goddesses, yakshas, apsaras, 
and Mithuna carvings.
Nearby, on top of the rim, there is a temple known as the Ramgad Mata Temple. This cave temple is dedicated to goddesses Kasnai and Annapurna. There is a flight of 750 stairs leading up to this temple. The stairs are said to have been constructed by Jala Zalim Singh, the Divan of Kota who ruled between 1770 to 1824. There is a chatri about this temple that provides an awesome view of the Ramgarh crater. <laughs> 